Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Sanch, your host here on the Bodybuilding News Network. Welcome back to another installment of Bodybuilding Daily. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I know it's been a few days. Uh, the show, Bodybuilding Daily, with the show where we talk about all things hot topic and trending in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. If you are new here, definitely consider subscribing and hitting the bell button as it does help the channel grow and reach like-minded individuals like yourself. In this episode of Bodybuilding Daily, we're going to talk about the Hunter Labrada versus Stu Sutherland conversation, why you should care, and why it is exciting. So make sure you stay tuned till the end. As always, like I said, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy this style of content. Now, a big shout out to Daniel over at Bodybuilders Without Borders for posting the most recent stage shots of the guest posing where Hunter Labrada Labrada, Hunter Labrada and Stuart Sutherland, aka Stu Sutherland, aka Beef Stu97 on Instagram, did a guest posing at the Emerald Cup. Like I said, now Stuart Sutherland is three weeks out from the New York Pro, one of the favorites to do very, very well. Maybe, probably even win the show. It being his pro debut, there are some other. Uh, top athletes in that lineup uh, that are going to be exciting to see all of them stand side by side. But in my opinion, uh, Stuart Sutherland is one of the uh, one of the gentlemen that is going to be standing out in the men's open division. Also, Hunter Labrada, a top six Olympian in the past, is still on prep for the Texas Pro come mid-August. So thank you, Daniel, for doing that post. And there's a lot of layers to this onion for this video that I do want to talk about as I pull all the cat hair out of my nose holes, because Totoro is being adorable tonight. There's a lot of layers to this onion, and I want to get into it. Uh, first off, I think I approached this story initially on my Instagram not as unbiased as I could have, so I do want to clarify some of my points coming away from this. these pictures here. Is One, I think Stuart looks absolutely phenomenal. He also is three weeks out from a pro show. Whereas Hunter Labrada is very much in the off season. You can tell that by the hat, you can tell by the lack of conditioning. Although he has shown up not in great conditioning the last two Olympias, he does show up much sharper than he currently is at this guest posing. So I do wanna say that. Um, also, when you look at Hunter Labrada's midsection, shout out to Ty Walden on Instagram for pointing this out. Uh, Hunter Labrada's midsection is really watery. And if you think about the last time, the last few times we've seen him at the Olympia, the midsection wasn't his strong suit. It's small, but it's there's not a lot of detail there. There's not a lot of nice flowing lines. There's not a lot of very well-defined thick muscle bellies within the abdominal cavities uh, not a crazy nice vacuum there's a lot of things I'm hoping that he makes corrections in this offseason to include I know him and his coach have a uh, Ben Chow has they've been making the corrections with the nutrition switching over from a mostly uh, liquid diet to a more physical more traditional chicken rice broccoli beef whatever steak tater tots not tater tots taters potatoes uh, I know they've been making those adjustments with the nutrition I'm hoping they're making some adjustments with the training to maybe try taking your eyes away from the midsection trying to take your eyes away from the torn pec uh, I I don't know what they can do about that, but every time this guy's on stage, all I can see is just that torn left peck or oh, right peck if you're looking at it like this, you know, his left peck completely torn, really throws off the whole symmetry of the body. Uh, I don't know how you fix that or how you make those adjustments uh, as Totoro is saying hi to everyone uh, as he climbs across the desk. Uh, those are a lot of the things I wanted to point out. But I also wanted to give some praise to Hunter Labrada because when you think about how many times he's done guest posings in the last, I don't know, 12 months, it's been really, really impressive. Uh, I do appreciate him putting that much time and effort into getting to these pro shows, uh, to putting out the kind of content that he is, putting the effort in for the promoters, uh, 
you know, helping grow the show, helping grow the channel. Uh, it's something that you really don't see a lot from when it comes to some of the bigger names in bodybuilding, especially someone like a Hunter Labrada. So big kudos to him. We all appreciate, you know, what he does for the sport. And regardless, you know, regardless of, you know, what kind of politics might have happened in the past or, you know, what his dad may or may not have done at the Olympia to help him get a higher placings at that show. Uh, I want to try to close that chapter and move in a direction that's more beneficial and a little bit more favorable towards these athletes. Because at the end of the day here on BNN, I do want to continue to put the spotlight on advocating for athletes and promoting shows. And when we start talking about the same thing or when we continue to talk about the same thing that is inherently negative facing towards these athletes, it's not fulfilling the mission statement here on BNN. So uh, I do want to, right Totoro, I do want to close that chapter of talking about the the politics and the corruption uh, with the league and the Labradas and that whole fiasco with that show. Uh, but in conclusion, these photos from Stu Sutherland and Hunter Labrada are absolutely phenomenal. I would love to see these two stand on stage this coming Olympia and really show off what a perfectly conditioned and perfectly prepped Hunter Labrada would look like next to the rookie newcomer rising star Stuart Sutherland. Uh, that is the conclusion for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in the comment sections below, and that'll help us know uh, what content to make next here on the Bodybuilding News Network. Make sure you subscribe so you see all the recent and most up-to-date content as it does come out, and hit the bell button, and I'm sure that'll help you a little bit more. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josh Sanch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.